Pizza Farm might be the tastiest idea that opens possibilities for you as we reimagine and redefine what it means to be in community. I remember in college, I would walk across the hallway and go to hang out with my friends, or I would run down the hallway as I had somebody on my back as we were laughing hysterically. We could feel how special this moment and this place was. We didn't want it to end. We often would talk about how, you know, wouldn't it be cool if we all bought houses next to each other? We continue to live near each other and keep this life going. In the back of our head, we had this voice that said, I'm not sure if this is actually how it's gonna happen. I remember when I finished graduate school, I was met with a world that I had been warned about, but I didn't really expect. We would go to work and Everyone would be pleasant, we would do our work, we would smile and nod at each other, and when the workday was over, we'd all go our separate ways. We were all going through the motions of life as if we were doing this all alone, on our own. It left me wanting more. It left me seeking something better. I was craving something, and I didn't really know what it was until five years, three job changes, and two moves. What I was actually looking for is I was looking for community. Pizza Farm started a little over two years ago as we asked a couple of questions. We would talk with our friends and we'd say, okay, you know what? What if we bought a chateau in Europe and we all moved there together? It'd be pretty cool. Think of the beautiful views. It continued as we asked the question, all right, scrap that. What if we bought 10 acres of land? We built our houses, the houses of our dreams, and we could all live in that neighborhood we talked about. We even asked the question of, what happened if we opened up a cafe? It could be so cute. Just imagine the delicious treats that we have. The pizza farm really, plan really continued as we decided that we were going to grow everything that we needed to make pizza in our backyard. Yes, I am obsessed with pizza. I wouldn't be here talking about it today if I wasn't. But as we talked about Pizza Farm, everybody would say to us, uh, Kyle, how can we be part of that? And I mean, can you blame them? It sounds so yummy. Honestly, there was a common thread when people would say, can we be a part of this? What they were actually looking for, what we all were looking for was to be a part of a community. We were craving that. And the reason why the traditional communities that we ha are used to aren't actually giving we us what we need. Gallup research shows that Americans are experiencing higher and higher levels of worry, anger, sadness, and stress. In fact, over the past decade, there's been a 10% increase in the amount of people who regularly say that they experience stress and worry. And this is happening because we're going through the motions of life and we're trying to do this on our own or with as few people as possible. And I think it makes sense. When the workday is over, we go home, we look up, find our favorite tacos, we order them to go, we sit down on our couch, we turn on Netflix, we ask our dog to sit right next to us and cuddle with us, and We've been told that this is what we need to do. This is what self-care looks like. This is what it looks like to do what you need to. But it's not working. It leaves us thinking and feeling like we want more. We need something. As you're sitting here right now, you might be saying, Kyle, I think Pizza Farm sounds pretty neat, but I'm still confused. What actually is Pizza Farm? Well, my family lives on an eighth of an acre on the native land of the Spokane tribe. We refer to this land, our home, as an urban farm. More fondly, we refer to it as Pizza Farm 1.0. And on this, in our home, we have a social life that really is centered around food. We are inviting people over for a soup gathering. We're having a pie party. We have regular Sunday night pizza we always have friends over and share food with them. Our pizza farm journey started because we were looking for community. And 
Unfortunately, community doesn't just happen. It takes intention. It takes practice and invitation to actually build that community. Pizza Farm grows everything that we need, but I believe that it's through these meals and community that it continues to happen. It can be too much as we're trying to do everything for everyone all on our own, whether that's doing your job, taking care of your family, dropping off the kids at daycare. And as we're doing this, while dealing with everything else that's happening in life, it can feel like it's too much. It leaves you feeling like you're alone as you try and get your answers on your own. And the good news is that it doesn't have to be this way. When you are taking the chance to build your own community through Pizza Farm, it can increase the well-being of those that are in your community by allowing them to do what they love, and we're doing it together. To do this, community and individuals must take a focus on supporting others by engaging in well-being practices that are meaningful and creating opportunities so that we can all be together. So Pizza Farm is really about helping you feel like you are truly thriving. We want you to feel like you have that high level of well-being. And when I'm talking about well-being, I'm not just talking about physical well-being. I'm not interested in you just running for three miles a day. We're talking about you so much more than that, your, your social well-being, your financial well-being, the ways that you engage spiritually and like you feel like you're living into your life's purpose. We want you to find ways to engage with your strengths in what you do. Doing what you love means that you're ready to give and be a part of your life, whether that's the work, the processes that happen, even the chores, and the ways of being that really leave you feeling energized. When you do what you love, you're ready to show up for life. So let's all admit it right now, we have preferences. There are some people that they love cooking, for their friends and family. That's me. And this might come as a shock to you, but there are some people that love cleaning and tidying. It leaves them feeling energized. Others love telling people what to do. We are all interested and good at doing different things. And that's the beauty of Pizza Farm. When you have a group of people that are, have a diversity of strengths, can do so many unique things and find energy from that, we're able to have a greater variety of interests. We are allowed to do the te things that we actually love to do, and we work towards that common goal together. Community happens really when you're experiencing that life together. It's about using your strengths and those gifts with the world. Pizza Farm depends on each community member using their strengths so that we can all have that life that we're looking to live. We all have those things that we are well attuned to. If you ask anybody that knows me well, they know that <laughs> I'm not the best at paying attention to details. Whether that is a dish that has a smudge on it that accidentally found its way into the cabinet, sorry Matthew, <laughs> um, or if it's gonna be on an Instagram post as I have a spelling error as I'm typing too fast. But they'll also tell you that there are some things that I am great at. Things that I'm great at include making a plan, I love a vision for the future that is helping us take steps towards making that into a reality. Community, this summer we had a change in our backyard. We turned it into a gardener's oasis. And at the beginning, we did a lot of this work independently. We thought, we got this, we can do this. But pretty quickly, we could feel burnout setting in as we took a month off and didn't make any progress like we had originally planned to do. I realized that we were coming to the end of when we actually need to get this work done, so I stepped in with my strengths. I said, we're gonna make a plan. And the thing that we're doing different about it this time is we're not doing this alone, we're doing this with others. So we invited our friends to be a part of this. How did we choose who we're inviting, when we're inviting people? We invited them based on their strengths, based on those things that we know that they love to do, those things that they are just really well attuned to. And that last month, it went so fast. It was easy, it was fun, and we had these great memories that we created with each other. At Pizza Farm, we're sharing the work that we do and dividing the work based on our strengths and our passions. So there's somebody that is hosting, there's somebody that's cleaning, there's somebody that's doing the cooking. And even with 
everything that happens in house. We understand that not everything's going to be your favorite, but we're going to find ways to tap into your strengths so that each day starts with what you do best and continuing to step into that. We care about doing the things that you love and using our strengths because it's a chance for us to be present, to show up for life. When we use our strengths, we are showing up for the people in our community and we're investing in our community as we're seeking to grow and reach towards these goals that we have, as we're asking each other to do the same thing that we are doing too. Pizza Farm isn't just about doing things or finding a way to get out of doing things too. It's about building community ultimately and bringing us closer together. I said this before, but community takes intention, practice, and invitation so that people can be here and growing as a, as a unit. Pizza Farm is actively building around the whole farm, but it's more about the shared space, the time, and the resources that we have together. If there was ever a time that we needed to be together, but we couldn't, it was during the early days of the pandemic. I want to use a real-life example of Waffle Wednesday to help frame this and help understand. We had been isolated in our homes. I know we all experienced this and we needed connection. And I thought at the time what we needed was Waffle Wednesday. We had spent some time with friends and done Waffle Wednesday once before. And we decided, okay, we're gonna do this again. We all had been isolating. And so we started to have a weekly dinner together so that we could have that community and space. Each week we had different hosts, we had different waffles, and eventually the waffles weren't actually there, but we kept this tradition going. The waffles are what brought us together that of what worked in the moment, but it was the time that we spent talking each other, supporting each other, and through this unprecedented time that we were able to strengthen our community and be a part of that. It's again through that space, that time, and the resources that you share collectively that create an impact on bringing your community together. Togetherness happens when there is that shared space. And in the case of Pizza Farm, it's more than just that farm. Look at us, we have 6,000 square feet in the middle of an urban city. Growing up, that's not what I would have called a farm. I mean, I grew up in the Midwest where I know that there's more stalks of corn than there are people. Sharing space really creates this opportunity for shared ownership. As we invite our friends into our backyard to move soil, paint a pergola, or simply just watch our garden grow as we're sipping our glass of wine together. It's about creating a connection through this space that we have. Community is growing over time. We live in a world of instant where if I don't say something within the first three seconds, you're gonna say, Next, swipe to the next TikTok video. I want something more exciting. But community is different. It does take time to build because you're spending that time with others. The beauty is that you get to choose how you're spending time with each other, whether it is at your favorite, I'll still say, at your favorite Waffle House that's in town, or if it's gonna be at a community pool while your, your kids are off swimming, or it's spent quietly reading together in your home or in your public library. The time spent together is mutually beneficial because we're fostering relationships, we're growing together, we're getting to know each other in this deep way, and we're creating memories in these moments. Community is really developing this sense of shared resources. At Pizza Farm, we try our best to share our resources. And no, I'm not talking about just giving your neighbor all of your money. We're talking about the physical items that we use. So a few summers ago, we needed to dig some post holes. We were building our fence. To make digging post holes easier, they have a tool, it's called a post hole digger. We had some shovels at our disposal, but these shovels aren't actually meant for digging post holes it would be really difficult to make it happen. We didn't wanna buy our own post hole digger, so we asked our friends, hey, does anybody have a post hole digger? Luckily, we had a friend that showed up. We like to call her our tool goddess. She let us use her post hole digger. We dug a few post holes. It was great, way easier than using the shovels that we had. We actually, since that time, have shared the post hole digger, connected that friend with other friends as other folks needed to dig post holes, and we've continued to use it. 
Growing up, I've been told that we need to have everything on our own. It's best if we can have one of everything so that we don't have to necessarily ask our neighbors for everything. And I think that's where we started to continue to see the disintegration of what community is. When we try and isolate ourselves from others, we're, we're making it so that we think that we don't need that community aspect. Community really does happen when we have that shared space, that shared time and resources with each other. It happens when we are together and ask for help from others. In the spirit of generosity, we can be so much more than what we are right now. We can continue to grow. Today, as we talk about Pizza Farm, it, begun, it begins with pizza and a farm. But I want to encourage you to substitute whatever it is that you need to build your community, whether it's waffles like we already talked about, ice cream. It could even be a salad, whether it's going to be spending time in a baseball field at an elementary school playground, or if it's going to be in your backyard. The important thing is that you're doing these things that you love most so that you can engage in life in ways that have meaning to you. In a community, we share these moments with each other, and Pizza Farm really provides that opportunity for community to grow in these moments. Today, our Pizza Farm is an urban farm, but it's going to continue to transform over time as we, so that we can continue to feel excited. And it allows us to continue to share all of those pieces of us that are deep inside of us and the things that surround us. I think that you are going to keep hearing about Pizza Farm after today. After today, I just have a question. What are you going to do? Are you going to invite some friends over to have a new dinner tradition? Are you going to ask for help as you're, instead of trying to do something on your own? Or are you going to bring community into your space to create a memory? I want to know what your pizza farm looks like. So tell me, what tasty idea will you start to build your community with? Thank you.